Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of the Beginner Bike Giveaway Series. Today is a really, really special one. I'm super excited because we are gonna be putting on a slip-on exhaust on our Yamaha R3. It's gonna be this part right here. So this is the slip-on exhaust we're gonna be putting on our little R3. You'll notice that it's not a Leo Vinci, it's an Akrapovich. Uh, we decided to try something a little bit different this time. We're gonna do a little Akrapovich slip-on system. Uh, I'm really, really fond of slip-on systems, especially for these bikes that you may or may not keep for a long time because you get the experience of having something that is you know a little bit louder you're gonna have a lot of fun with it but at the same time you're not making a huge investment on the motorcycle you're not gonna be taking it all apart it's a super easy install it's gonna give you a lot of smiles for dollars I think slip-on exhausts are really really a great option for beginners especially that's why we do them on our beginner bikes but as I gotta mention if it's your first time here uh, we give away these motorcycles so this Yamaha R3 over here will be given away by October 17th is when we do the stream for it, uh, which is going to be super cool. We're going to stream it uh, on Patreon, and then we're going to announce the winner uh, publicly and all that, try to get in touch with them, which has been a problem in the past, but hope we get in touch with the person that wins it, and then uh, we give them away. So we got the R3, we got the SV650. If you want to learn how you can get entered to win, uh, you can go on our Patreon page below. You can also buy merch and earn chances to win as well, or as I have to mention, you can always enter completely for free. If you read the directions on Patreon, send me a letter you can get entered to win for free but I do hope you consider supporting the series because it actually is a lot of fun being on our discord server and being part of the community itself so anyways let's get a sound clip of the stock exhaust system on the R3 and then we're gonna put on the slip-on exhaust get a sound clip of it as well show you the install process it's really simple uh, and then ride the bike around for a little bit and see if the sound has made any difference let's get started So it's actually kind of funny. Um, the R3 is over here in the corner of the garage because last night uh, I got my new tires in for the Desert Sled. Got some real grippy Motaz or Moto Z uh, adventure tires I'm gonna be putting on and swapping out the old Pirellis on there. But So I took off the wheels, jacked up the bike, but I totally forgot I was gonna film this video today. So working in a bit of closed quarters today because I'm a little too lazy to put the wheels back on the bike just to roll it out of the garage. So we're gonna make it work. Okay, so as I mentioned, slip-ons are pretty dang simple. Uh, on my old R3, actually, I uh, removed the old big pipe out here, and I used to run it without a, any kind of muffler on it, um, just for kind of goofs and gags, really. Um, but yeah, all we're gonna do is like just take off a couple of these protectors here, unbolt the main clamp that holds this pipe onto there, unbolt that, slide it off, and then slide the new one on there. It's, it's really that easy. Um, so let's get after it. So we're just going through here and taking off the first uh, bolts on our little R3. Is this a five and a half? No, it's definitely five. Why would it be a five and a half? It's never a five and a half. So that's our stock exhaust system removed from the bike. Um, and now we're gonna slide on the other one. I'm telling you guys, it's a super easy install. Makes a nice new sound for your bike. I really am a big fan of slip-ons for beginner rides. So let's get the new one on there as well. One thing that I really like when you uh, buy from a company like Akrapovich is you get really nice detailed instructions. Uh, these are some of the nicest printouts of images. And you know, I mean, it's a slip-on, so like it's literally like self-explainable, but um, it's nice that you know, Akrapovich provides you such great uh, pictures and resources when you get something like that. So just something to note, if you do go for a cheaper option, which is totally cool, it's a slip-on, it's not gonna be something, you know, to write home about, 
in terms of price, but if you do opt for something nicer, just know that you do pay for nicer uh, installation materials, nicer uh, quality of materials, like everything's just a little bit nicer, so just keep that in mind. All right, guys, check it out. Look how clean that looks. It looks clean. That looks great. Um, this bike is really coming together with that tail tidy and the slip on. These are these are such good mods that I would recommend to anyone. Um, I think the tank grips look so good as well with it, which apparently they're on backwards, so I need to sort that out. <laughs> um, but yeah, like man, this exhaust came out looking great. So let's get a sound check of what it sounds like now, and then we're gonna take it on the road. Yeah. So I'm actually really pleasantly surprised with the increase in tone of the uh, little Akrapovich slip-on. Uh, it's actually sounding really great. Parallel twins, especially these smaller ones without a cross-plane crank, they can... <sighs> They can kind of sound a little lawnmower-y sometimes, but I think this is a great balance between something that's not too loud and something that gives you just that little bit of extra grunt and pop and crackle that you could look for uh, on a bigger bike. And so I think if you own one of these bikes, you'd be pleasantly surprised with a little slip-on. Uh, but now, let's get it out on the road. Let's get some more sound clips of it actually on the gas and that kind of stuff on the bike and off the bike as well. So let's go do that. All righty guys, we're here in the urban environment with the R3 uh, with its fresh new uh, Kropovich slip-on exhaust. Um, this is about as standard as it gets for this motorcycle, putting on a little slip-on for it. You get a little bit nicer tone out of it, a little bit uh, louder, and I think for beginner riders, it's a great option, you know? I don't think that a lot of people want to fuss with, you know, getting this whole cat out, getting all the fairings off, putting the two pipes on there. And if it's a bike you're not going to keep forever, honestly, it's not worth it, you know? I think this is the smart option. It's the the, the best option in my opinion is why we did it on this bike and it's super easy to install you know so let's get a sound clip of it really quick let's start it up get you a sound clip of it while we are mic'd up here and I think the thing to note too is it's not too much louder than stock so you're not going to be blowing anybody's doors off or anything like that with the sound of it so let's see if we're in neutral or not we're in first <laughs> So you can definitely tell it's it's popping a little more. I mean, you, you can definitely hear it more. It's nothing like a full system because you still have this catalytic converter here. So if we rev it up a little bit, you could definitely hear it. I mean, it's there. But let's get on it. Let's ride it around and see how it sounds when you're actually on it. The thing I've noticed most is um, downshifts sound a lot louder now, which is great. Uh, I think before, downshifts were a little quiet. So now when you blip that throttle, you really hear it. Little rev happy R3. Yeah, you, you really notice it in the lower revs, downshifting and kind of just running through the gears on the lower rev, you really hear it a lot more. And uh, that's what makes it really nice, in my opinion, because, you know, if you're cruising through the city like this, you can really hear it a little bit better, which is great. I think that's such an awesome thing. And also, like, I think, you know, a big part of it, and I know a lot of motorcyclists won't admit it, but having an exhaust on the bike, it looks cool. It adds a little bit of credibility to your ride, makes it look nicer. Um, I think the slip-on's a great option for beginners, man. So next week, we'll see the SV650 and uh, how that exhaust is going to sound because it uh, actually, I believe that the catalytic converter is integrated into the big slip-on, which I think Suzuki kind of cheekily did because they know that their SV650, like everyone puts an exhaust on the SV650 because it has the V-twin and it sounds awesome. And so I'm really curious to see how that's going to sound. But so far, I'm, I'm impressed with this. This is sounding really nice. 
I'll rip it out here a little bit. <laughs> we got a little pop out of it. That was cool. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Let's see. I'll put it down a gear. Yeah, you can definitely hear those downshifts a little bit better, which is great. Seeing as downshifting is, to me, one of the most satisfying things about riding a motorcycle. Go down this way here on San Jacinto. Yeah! That was awesome! You could really hear that. Alright, we're good to go. Downshift in the first again so you can really hear that little pop it gives you. Yes, <laughs> that's pretty sweet, man. This reminds me a lot of when I was running uh, my bike without the, uh, the muffler on it. The first R3 that I had back in 2015. Uh, it reminds me of that a lot. So, I mean, it's the same thing, really. All you're doing is just amplifying that slight noise that you get um, with a no muffler sound because it's all that you're really doing is you just took off the slip on, which uh, gave you a little bit of dampening from the cat. So now you just have a pipe running out of it. And it just looks cool, too. I mean, I love the way that the little slip on looks on, and I think the beginner riders would be pleasantly pleased with that as well. We're going to try to make it to the bridge and then give it some revs. And then we're going to put the uh, audio recorder in the tail section of the bike. That way we can get a more accurate reading of the sound on it. So, should be some fun. I mean, it's still quite quiet, don't get me wrong. It is just a slip-on, but I think for, you know, 200 some odd dollars, you're getting a lot of bang for buck on this thing, honestly. So let's jump off the bike, let's get the audio recorder in the tail section, and then uh, we'll take a listen to it. 